Good morning, everybody. For those of you new to the channel, I'm Teresa Parent, and this is my stock market watch list for Monday, December 19th, 2022. The futures are green this morning, guys, and oil is also green. Please remember to smash that like button as it helps spread the word on stocks that are moving and with this algorithm. For those of you that join into our Sunday night space, well, it's Stock Talk Weekly is Sunday night space, but I come on it pretty much every week since it started um, and really enjoy it. It's actually my favorite space on Twitter. But you may have heard that I picked pets as play of the week, but unfortunately, the market cap has fallen below our minimum requirement. So I had to trade it um, and switch it at the last minute. So I went with my second choice, which is Kaba. So this is my play of the week, guys. C-A-B-A, -A. it has been in a strong uptrend. As you can see from this beautiful chart on the daily, it's making a cup and handle, had a very nice pullback and is ready to make its next leg up, which I suspect to happen. My anticipation of this stock, guys, is for it to get to double digits. Those of you that follow this channel know that I called out this play when it was in the 80 cent range and we have been absolutely killing it. I think we're up like over 700% on this play as it is. And guys, in my opinion, it has a long way up to go. I truly believe by the end of the year, we hit double digits. Pets, TDH holding. Guys, this is what I wanted as my play of the week, but unfortunately it has dropped that the market cap is below, um, like I said, the minimum standard for our play of the week calls because we just don't like to lead new tra traders down a road where potentially um, it can be very volatile. And now that this has hit this level, it certainly can. But the reason that I originally picked this was because of the technicals. Guys, it has made a doji. Um, it made it very close to a doji on Thursday, but Friday followed that up with an actual doji, which usually signifies a reversal. So I think that Pets has found its bottom at $1.55 and now is going to make moves back up. And my target range for pets, the initial target range will be $5. If it can break above its previous high in that level, which I believe is somewhere around $5.50, it may have even gone up a little bit higher um, or it could have dropped at $5.49. But at any rate, when it gets somewhere around there, I will let you know what I'm looking at because obviously that's a long way up from $1.69. All right, Tal. Guys, this was my play of the week last week, and it won. And it is not done. I just have made myself a personal promise to not pick the same stock two weeks in a row. So I would like to see Tal do some consolidation before it makes its next leg up, or at least when it hits that $9 range where it meets its next resistance. Um, it would consolidate there before moving up, guys, because the next level after that um, $9 and change break is going to be $19.56, I think it is off the top of my head. Just double check, but there's a gap fill and it's a huge one. And I do believe it's going to make it very soon. So Tal should be on everybody's radar. All right, TME, 10 cent. All right, guys, for those of you that follow me, you also know that this has been one of my favorite stocks as of it hit its $5 and something cents bottom. I have been playing options in and out on this stock, and I believe that it is ready to make another leg higher. C-O-S-M. Well, guys, I don't think that this takes much more explaining. I did a very long, several very long videos on it this weekend that I highly recommend that you watch because I think we're going to have a very volatile week. Um, as of last night, there were no shares left to borrow in C-O-S-M. And I know that it broke $10 and last time I checked, it was actually at $11 and change. So this is moving again in pre-market. How high will it go? That is the question. It's going to be an interesting week, but please guys use extreme caution in this play because let me tell you, these market makers like to play games and they don't give up easily. They're going to try to trap people to buy at a top, but there's a lot going on with this stock and I believe it can have some massive runs. CEI, Camber Energy. All right, guys, I put out a video with extreme caution on this one. Guys, this has been a pump and dump in the past. It is announcing that it's going to try to do its reverse split and initially set for December um, 30th, December 21st, which would be Wednesday. And I believe it's market open, but please don't quote me on that. Go back and check out my video. Um, that was a change that they announced 
over the weekend or maybe Friday after hours. I think it was Friday after hours because that's when it started running. Um, and guys, it's because their minimum share price fell below 10 cents, which is extremely dangerous because NASDAQ can just delist you. So they are going to try to push that through faster than expected. And guys, I do think CEI has a run in it. So please do not misunderstand what I'm saying, but I'm airing you to be very, very cautious in this play because I think that it's going to be very volatile. And I do think that a big dump will follow eventually. Um, whether that's pre-split or post-split, I'm really not sure. Um, but like I said, keep an eye on it very closely. Set, set those, you know, stop losses. Be careful. VKTX. All right, guys, this is pumping this morning. And honestly, I have no idea why. I did go and look and see if there was a news announcement. I don't see anything. I know that recently, um, back in November, it was announced that the CEO has been doing some major buying in this company. So I think something's probably down the pipeline. And I've noticed that this has had several little runs going on. I think it hit ten dollars after that news and is pulled back um i don't know much about this play but it is definitely one that has a lot of volume in pre-market so keep it on the radar okay hellbiz guys those of you that follow this channel know that this is one of my favorite stocks and i believe that it has a long way up to go i got um several mailings because I have this in several different of my accounts. So it's funny, all the brokerage firms sent me the same thing. But I noticed that Guy Adami, those of you that watch CNN know who Guy Adami is. Um, but Guy Adami has a 75,000 share stake in Hellbiz, which I did not know. So there's some, you know, very famous names in the stock trading industry that actually own Hellbiz as well. I found that to be bullish. I don't know whether it was granted to him or whether he purchased it. Um, I don't know what the deal is with that, but at any rate, I like it. Um, and I do believe that Hellbiz is hopefully near its bottom. It looks to me, if you look at the past week, that it's formed a double bottom. And now I would like to see moves to the upside. So hopefully our amazing CEO will strike some good news on us. I know guys with pot stocks flying that they are looking at being a mobility partner for delivery of marijuana in New York City. So if if that breaks that they get a partnership expect a nice move in help is mdgl all right guys magical pharmaceuticals i'm going to read to you because this is now over 200 dollars a share it is up like literally over like 250 percent, i think in pre-market and i believe that they were planning to announce top line results from the phase three maestro nash study of Resmatrom on Monday. Shares of the company closed 1.43% higher on Friday while gaining 4.23% in extended trading and it keeps going. So what did they announce guys? That news hadn't broke at the time I was doing this but I'm guessing they announced something great because it is absolutely ripping. So that's MDGL. Um, you know, it's kind of late for me to try to get into this play with it being up as high as it is, but that doesn't mean that it may not present an opportunity for a short later on. And guys, be very careful. Look at PRTA. I thought that would make a good short at some point too, and it still hasn't come back down. So um, I never bought in because I just saw the chart. Follow the chart, trade with the chart, guys, and not emotions are not what you think it should do. NNDM. Technically, I love this stock. Actually, um, I was in a rush because my daughter came home from college this weekend. So I've been spending time with her. Um, and, you know, guys, if you don't hear much from me this week, it is the holidays. There's not a lot going on. And she's my focus. But she's going to New York City with her friends for a couple of days. So um, you should still get some info from me. But at any rate, um, NNDM. Technically, I love this chart. And I um, actually bought some of it on Thursday or Friday because I saw what was coming. And I do believe we're going to see a breakout in NNDM that's been long awaited. Rent the runway. All right. This stock has been on an absolute rip. And I do believe that it is just getting started. I'd love to give you more details on it. But for some strange reason, I cannot find anything on Fintel. And 
Um, I believe the stock is going to go on an absolute tear, guys. They had amazing earnings and they've just been moving to the upside ever since. GoCo, all right, another favorite of mine, guys, that we called out at 40, well, well before 42 cents, but that was where I told you I was buying in. Um, and then it had, I believe it was a one for 15 reverse split. At any rate, it brought it to like the buy-in price around $6 and something cents, maybe under 6.60 for sure. Um, sorry, I can't do the math in my head this early. But anyways, um, it has been on an absolute tear since then, but you'll notice it has these strong pullbacks. It hit like 17 something and now it's pulled back. I think it's ready for its next rip. If you look at the pattern, it is definitely very close, but I also have to be honest with myself and see that I see a head and shoulders pattern on this, but I also saw it here. Um, granted, these are not even shoulders guys, but I saw it here as well and thought the same thing. So I am not I don't think this is anywhere close to being done. So I am still bullish on GoCo and watching it this week. But I am prepared to sell temporarily if if I have to. Blue Apron. Okay, guys. Um, those of you that are following this company um, know that it is very heavily shorted that the um, biggest donor, Joseph Sandberg, um, agreed to buy like 55 or 56 million dollars um, worth of the stock at five dollars and something cents per share go back and watch my video i have all the details on it but i believe that it started making a run and they pulled it back i believe that had everything to do with options um and now i'd be looking for that run to start happening and i'd be looking for a notification soon that he bought more because he's only um bought one million of that promised investment all right Tesla. No mistaking, this should be on everybody's watch list today for a long or a potential short again. Tesla has fallen very high um, off its all-time highs. It's dipped down hard. To be honest with you, I was expecting this to come into the 130, so I'm not sure if this is just going to be a temporary rebound rally or if it opens up and starts coming down. But the reason I believe Tesla is running, well, they did have some good announcements about their Gigafactory in Berlin this weekend, but the big news that I think is driving it to the upside is the fact that Elon put out a Twitter poll asking if he should resign as CEO of Tesla and said he would abide by it, and the vote came back as yes. I mean, not of Tesla, of Twitter, excuse me, if he should resign as CEO of Twitter. So apparently he's going to find a replacement and step down as CEO of Twitter, which, guys, leaves a lot of Tesla fans hopeful that Tesla will start getting some good momentum back into the stock. I am cautious on this, guys. I'm all for pumps, but be careful because um, it, the market has been brutal. Does it have a Santa Claus rally? Very possibly. Will it come back down? Very possible as well. If the market does, um, we shall see. Let's hope that we get a Santa Claus rally in all stocks this week. All right, guys, that's it for today. I just wanted to show you. I did take one a few minutes later, and it is starting to come down slightly, so I'm not sure if this is just momentum on the pre-market um, or what. But definitely should be on everyone's radar because it could have a potentially large move in either direction. Tesla does not move like st stocks of this size, guys. It moves like it's like a penny stock sometimes. Honestly, it's crazy. But anyways, um, let me give you the list for the top gainers. That's MDGL, which we discussed. And as you can see here in this screenshot, it's already over $200, like I told you. QUMU, VKTX, we also discussed, CEI we discussed, and AGFY. AGFY, I think, was one of the stocks that have been beaten down very bad, so caution. Um, not sure why it's moving. Okay, the biggest losers are COSM, which we all know what they did after hours, but it's starting to recover. LANV, PHGE, NH, and MINM. Most active, CSX, SIRI, S-I-R-I, C-T-R-A, C-W-K, and Hewlett Packer, H-P-E. Technical analysis, and I just shared this because I couldn't believe I saw an NDM on this list. These are the short-term stocks that have the biggest potential to move on technical analysis, guys. And NNDM is on the top of this list. Woohoo! Uh, SBH. 
PHM, which is Pulte Group, which I found interesting. I'm a big fan of Pulte Group. Um, I really like the CEO there. Um, he's, you know, a big activist and gives a lot of money to people. Um, but guys, PHM being houses, uh, this is temporary, I think, because I think the housing market has a lot more downturn um, in turn for it. B-L-N-D-N-T-W-I. All right, guys, that's what I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed and have a great day. And I hope you have a wonderful, happy holiday week this week.